If rarity could be said to imply premiumness, then Count GMC's terrain crossover as upscale compared with its close sibling, the Chevrolet Equinox. Since the terrain nameplate was introduced in 2010, GMC has sold 700,000 examples of its compact SUV, while Chevrolet has sold more than 2 million Equinoxes since 2005, as long as you don't count a 5-year head start as cheating. But now comes time for a proper head-to-head -head comparison, as both models are getting redesigned for 2018, with GMC saying its terrain truly is more premium than before. We'll need to drive and experience the terrain in the real world to see if that claim bears out, but on paper, the GMC seems to pack the right mix of equipment and aesthetics to qualify as a step above the 2018 Equinox. A Shared Diet as with the larger GMC Acadia 3-row and the new Equinox, the terrain sheds a colossal amount of weight relative to its predecessor. Using GMC's specifications, as opposed to our scales, since we haven't yet weighed the new model, the lightest version of this 2018 terrain is 465 pounds lighter than the lightest version of the outgoing model. In addition to the removal of physical heft, the new terrain's smoother styling and floating roof imbue it with more visual lightness and grace than its chunky predecessor, which looked every bit as heavy as it actually was. We particularly like the C-shaped LEDs flanking the headlights, which give the front end a more dignified and powerful presence than is normal for the compact crossover class. The GMC's sleeker look as well as the weight reduction can be partly credited to its smaller footprint, it is 3.2 inches shorter in length, 0.4 inch narrower, and 0.9 inch lower than the terrain it replaces. GMC also pulled 5.2 inches out of the wheelbase, yet, through improved interior packaging, it managed to add 0.2 inch of rear legroom and 0.3 inch of front seat legroom. Although cargo space is down slightly behind the second row seats and with the rear bench folded flat, it's not enough to feel like much of a sacrifice. The front passenger seat back also folds flat to help with hauling longer objects, the reduced size of the terrain now puts this vehicle, previously too large for a compact and too small for a mid-size SUV squarely into the same size range as other compact crossovers such as the Honda CR-V and the Mazda CX-5. All Turbo All The Time With a smaller body and less weight to haul around, the 2018 terrain drops the previous generation models naturally aspirated four-cylinder and V6 engines for a trio of turbocharged four-cylinder options. The base terrain will come standard with a turbocharged 1.5-liter 4 making 170 horsepower and 203 pounds to foot of torque. While this engine is shared with the Equinox, in the GMC it is bolted to an all-new 9-speed automatic transmission instead of an older 6-cog unit. Feeling the premium vibes yet? Before we continue on to the other two engines, it is imperative that we ding GMC for the transmission controls shared by all terrains. Instead of a conventional shift lever on the console, a rotary dial, or even a steering column mounted stock, the terrain inherits a row of buttons mounted low on the center stack. Unlike Lincoln's push-button transmission controls, the GMCs are a mix of differently sized push buttons, pull levers, and rocker switches that remind us of those used in the Honda Pilot and several Acuras, yet somehow made to be even less intuitive. Why, for example, is the button for selecting drive farther from the driver than reverse? And did GMC seriously place up and down shift buttons for manually controlling the transmission by the passenger's left knee? The terrain's design is even more baffling in light of consumer confusion over various automakers' finicky electronic transmission controls. <laughs> Bye.
Rob Stone, two damn phones, Babylon's came.